BDB. The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. Those around you wither and rot in the grip of corruption. Could it be that you are all in black by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that which seeds in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul! To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that I am more than certain, but there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again, and go wherever it takes you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching mini -Me. Welcome to the Floki build 2.0. I do want to apologize for my absence in advance. And this time I am back with the most anticipated GF build of 2018. I do want to shout out all the sponsors who supported me while I was gone. You guys are truly amazing. I also want to shout out Floki for this amazing build which has maximized my fun experience in PvE. 
As you all know, I was always a PvP guy, and PvE world was just too boring for me. Because I had the opportunity to play with the Floki's build and his character, the PvE world had forever changed for me. So let's jump right into the gear. As for the helmet, you can find this on a treasure maps in your Omu city by doing your weeklies. And the reason why I'm using this helmet is because it provides you with 1500 critical, which is important and we will talk about that later on to where your critical should be in order for you to achieve 100% crit chance all the time. And as for the chest piece, you can find this on a Omu city by doing hunts. The reason why I'm using this chest piece is because you gain 3% more damage on your melee attacks and it also provides you very close to 30,000 HP. Having high HP on PvE is very important as you will gain more power, more damage burst when you are in a good party. You may have questions to why I'm using the Demogrogan arms that you can find them on the regular Demogrogan and we will talk about that later on in further details. And as for your primal weapons, you can find this on the Chalt map. You would have to play Tong multiple times in order to achieve the Seals of Brave, so that way you can purchase the weapon from the merchant, which you can see the circled location on the picture. Once you get your weapons to Legendary, don't forget to exalt them by doing Cradle. Exalting your weapons will give you higher stats and more damage burst. And as for your feet, you can find these by doing Hunts and Chalt. The reason why I'm using this feet set is because it gives you 5% more armor penetration when you attack your target. Remember, you can use whichever gear you think is beneficial to you, depending on your stats. The reason why I'm using this particular gear is so that way I can achieve 70,000 power, 34,000 crit, and about close to 11,000 armor penetration, and we will talk about that in a little bit. When it comes to your Demogorgon set, you can grind for it, or your best bet is going to be to buy it from the auction house, which is going to be the quickest way. It is pretty pricey, but it's not that pricey. It's still very affordable, all you gotta do is grind for AD a little bit. Or slide your credit card, that is. The reason why I'm using the Demogorgon set is because you still get 20% more damage between the difference on your health and the enemy's health. And as you know, the enemy will always have more health than you regardless, especially bosses. And that's for the Brutality Ring. You can find this on the regular Demogorgon. The plus 5 will give you 4000 power, which is equivalent to 10% damage. It will last for 10 seconds and refresh every 20 seconds. It also comes with 2 offense slots, which is great, so that way you can put 2 Radiance or 2 Azurus. The Ring of Offensive Action is located on the Merchant on the Omu City. Go talk to Makus and he will tell you exactly what you need to know in order to achieve this ring. The ring will come with 2 offense slots, also it comes with 3% more damage once you do your daily. In order to achieve the shirt and pants, you have to complete Chult 100%. Thereafter go to the Chult store where you can purchase them, with the currency which I have highlighted on the picture. The Ring of Great Stalker, you could achieve this by doing treasure maps. My recommendation to you would be to save about 20 to 30 treasure map boxes, so that way you can open them all at once, and you'll have a much better chance of achieving these rings. What you want to do is use them on your companion, so that way it triples up the power. Please do remember the same rings do not stack, that's the reason why I'm using a plus 5 and a plus 4, so that way the both rings are working all the time, which there is not much of a difference between the two, besides like 100 crit in power. The enchantments that I'm using on my summon companions, which would be my Chult Tiger, are 3 rank 14 bondings along with all Azurus. Please do remember, do not combine Radiance and Azurus together on your rings and necklace as they do not work. So you either use Azurus or you use Radiance. Do not combine the difference. The companion necklace is very expensive in the auction house. You would have to do the Illusionist Gambit in order to get a plus 4 with 2 offense slots for your companion. However, do remember the drop rate is very low. And as for your artifact, you can find the majority of them on the auction house, at the trading bars, or you can get free artifacts by leveling up your other classes. As you've noticed, the TRs they all use the artifact of devotion, which comes from the DC. Another way to gain the artifacts completely for free, just go to your collections and take a look and see which artifact you need. Put your mouse over the green bar, and you will find out exactly where the artifact is located. For example, this artifact right here is available by doing Castle Never, but do remember again that the drop rate is very low. Alright, let's go over all the enchantments really quick. As for my utility slots, on all of them, which is 5 in total, I'm using Dark Enchantment Rank 12, which gives you movement. 
And as for my defense slots, I'm using rank 12s and 13 radiance, which gives you more HP. And as for my offense slots, it's a combination between rank 13s and 12s, radiance and brutals, which give you power and critical chance. Feel free to use whatever you think is necessary for your build in order to achieve 34,000 crit, which is equivalent to about 96% critical chance. Also around 11,000 armor penetration, which is equivalent to 100% damage resistance. Don't worry so much about the power, as you are going to get plenty of it by your group if you have a DC or a Paladin on your team. And as for the artifact, it's a combination between power, armor penetration, power crit, and combat advantage. Let's talk about the feats and boons. I know you guys are anxious to see what that looks like. We will first start with the ability score. If you've noticed, I put all the points on strength and charisma. Strength gives you stamina gain, damage burst, and then charisma gives you companion advantage damage and combat advantage. When you first race roll your character, make sure your strength is on 18 and then charisma is on 12 in order to achieve the same stats as you see here. Alright, finally, let's go to the feed section. As long as you mimic what you see here, you will be fine. I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit so that way I'm not taking too much of your time. But stay tuned because there's a few things I would like to explain to you how you can buff yourself up using your Demogorgon arms. The Staggering Challenge works together with your Griffin's Wrath along with your Knight Challenge. And the Technical Security works together with your Combat Security as you will achieve 10% more damage. And finally, the final feat, which is your Reckless Attacker. This is very important as you will achieve 10% crit chance along with 25% more damage burst. Using the Demogorgon set, you can bump yourself up along with the Shield Warrior's Wrath, which I will show you here at the very bottom of your power sheet. Now do remember, these powers only activate when you're taking in damage and using your shield to block the damage. So what the Demogorgon set does, it every time you do it daily, it makes your character bleed. Holding the shield up, you will buff yourself up. It takes a total of 5 seconds to build up all your stacks. Let me demonstrate it here really quick and how that works. It doesn't matter which daily you use. Bring your shield up, block the damage from bleeding, and you will see your stacks. You get 5 stacks from Reckless Attacker, you get 5 stacks from Shield Warrior Wrath. That's a lot of damage burst. We're talking about 50-60% additional damage buffing yourself up. The reason why I don't want to share this information to everyone is because they will patch it and fix it. And that's the reason why I'm going to only share it to my sponsors because I know you guys are super loyal to me and you will not share this information with anyone. Right? I hope so. Let's move on to the next step. Under the guild booms, I use the HP boom when I'm in a party, I use the lifesteal boom when I'm fighting mobs by myself as it constantly heals me every time I do damage, which is wonderful. Alright guys, that is all there is from my commentary. All the boons are very self-explanatory as there are way too many of them for me to cover them uh, verbally. So if you have any questions, you can always jump in the live stream uh, and ask any additional questions. I'm always uh, more than happy to respond to all the sponsors. You guys are my first priority. Other than that, thank you so much for supporting me. I truly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Uh, judging by this video, you've noticed that I put a lot of time and effort so this way I can make this as easy to understand as possible it literally took me all day to make this video happen and i hope you guys do appreciate it thanks for watching mini me and i'll catch you guys next time peace out much love guys